Block Productions. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, if you up in here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Oscar said, what it do, what it do, what it do. Now, Divine Feminine. You hear that masculine crying? You hear him? This masculine is somebody who you walked away from. This masculine is missing you. Okay? They missing you like crazy. And Oscar done threw him in the tent. <coughs> now what I'm going to tell you is what why this masculine is crying that don't mean that I'm telling you to go back to this masculine just because I'm telling you what he's saying that don't mean that auntie is saying you go back to this person because they feelings was hurt I'm not saying go back to them because they hurt because when you was hurt how did how did you know how did they treat you knowing that they was hurting you Hmm? So just let's get it clear. I'm not telling you to go back to this person no matter what they're saying. Okay? The choice is up to you. A lot of people think just because us readers be telling you what this person is feeling that we're saying that it's okay that you should go back to this person. Nobody should go back to anyone if they're not healed. Okay? This person is saying, please understand that I need space right now. Or you may have told this person this. And this could be why they're crying. Because they could have, you know, been coming back and forth into your life, leaving you. Yep. So you told this person that you need space. And apparently you didn't gave them the space that they didn't want. Because now they're fucking crying. They say, I know what you meant to me. I'm ready to be with you only now. But you told this person, please understand that I need my space right now. Tell me more. I don't understand what this connection really is. I know we are spiritually connected. You are the one and only. So, even though this person is simping right now, hoping and wishing that you knock on their door, 
telling you, you know, they know what you mean to them now and they're ready to commit basically and that they're spiritually connected. So this this is someone who knows that they're a twin flame to you or they're your divine partner. Okay? But see, you could have been known this a long time ago. And you tried to tell them and they wouldn't listen. So now you need your space. Not only are you telling them that you need your space, you are showing them and you're taking your space. And Oscar just threw him in the tent. Now Oscar said, don't y'all forget to hit that thumbs up button because you're, you, you, you have to pay, you know, for the ticket to get in a circus. And that's your way of purchasing a ticket by hitting the thumbs up button. Now, you can't be outside of the circus tent without your ticket in your hand. Because if Oscar is roaming around there, he going to throw your ass in the tent. He going to throw you backstage. You don't want to go backstage. You don't want to be a part of the show. You want to be in the audience where you looking at these motherfucking clowns. Okay? So make sure you hit that thumbs up button so you don't get mistaken for a karmic. Okay? Now... Let's get back off into this reading. And don't forget the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So you will be notified each and every time that the karmic circle is in your town. See, you need to be aware of what's going on with the clown. So I need you to hit that subscribe button. All right, babies? Okay? Because auntie going to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. Yeah, Twin Flame came out. This is somebody's Twin Flame that's crying. Because you told them that you need your space right now. <laughs> they hoping and want you to knock on their door. But you told them, no, I need my space right now. Yeah. See, this person was out chasing thrills, good times, and all of that shit. Mm-hmm. They didn't pay attention to the fact that you told them that you were twin flames. You could have exhausted yourself driving to go see this person. They could have lived at a distance from you. Or they could be driving a distance, chasing thrills and shit, chasing good times and partying and excitement. We have grief, loss, loss and depression in reverse. See, this person thought by them chasing thrills, going out for a good time, exhausting themselves. That you was gonna be sad, but you not. If anything, you you uh, what's the word? You uh, you exited stage left, as I should say. Yeah, cause you divine feminine. Tell me more. Why is this person crying? Tell him shut the fuck up. Tell him to shut the fuck up. Put it in the comments. Don't tell me to turn the crying off. Tell him shut the fuck up. If you're tired of hearing the shit, tell him shut the fuck up. See, this person is crying because they holding on to you, obsessing over you and spying on you. At one time, you could have been the one that was obsessing over them. You could have been checking up on them, spying on them, you know, exhausting yourself. We have empathy out here, vulnerable. Resistance. See, this person, they, they can't take it that you're resisting them. And when you told them that you need your space right now, you mean that shit, goddammit. You mean it. You're not depressed over this person. You're resisting them. Mm -hmm. Your heart may still be open to them. But you still, you're, you still got your space. <laughs> they don't like this distance between you. They don't like the space, the separation. You done probably blocked some of them. They don't like that shit. No, they don't. And see, for some of you, you was driving a distance to go see this person. And if you're not driving a distance or you telling this person you're tired... 
that's all the space you need because if they live far, far away from you and you was the one driving to see them they feel in some type of way you could be resisting driving to them <laughs> yep you ain't you ain't you're not doing it no more tell me more So let's just see what is the energy surrounding this person. Why they over there crying like a simp. Tell them to shut the fuck up. When when they're they're telling you they don't, you know, um they know that you're spiritually connected and you're the one and only and you and they know that you're meant what, they, what you mean to them and they wish you would knock on their door why did it take for you to walk away from them for them to discover that you're the only one and only that's because they've been going out you know trying to trying to in the marriage trying to um put you in competition with others okay they crying because this marriage is over you ended the marriage with them why did the marriage end? Holy Spirit. And I'm asking for divine protection. This person wasn't official when they was in the marriage with you. They could be in the military. They still trying to cling on because you having some form of good luck. And Oscar just threw them in the tent. Yep, you moved. You ended the marriage. You moved. This person wasn't official. They see since you moved on or moved away from them that you're having some streak of good luck. You was rare when it came when it came to this person. Yeah, some sort of secret, some deception, something they was hiding from you came out. That's why the marriage ended. That's the heart of the energy. This person was keeping secrets. They wasn't at they was they was wasn't being official in the marriage. Yeah, they're unhappy too. Yep, this is somebody's karmic ex. This could be your ex-husband. This could be, if you wasn't married to this person, this could be somebody you've been in a, a long-term relationship with. They're angry, okay? They're angry and they're crying. Because some of you have moved away from this person. This could be a baby's father. This could be somebody they may have wanted to marry you and you could have gave them their ring back. Um, you could have... Uh, if you was engaged to them, the, like you, the, the, the uh, engagement is off, um, or you ended a long time relationship with this person because you seen that they wasn't being real in the relationship. They wasn't treating the relationship like it was a real relationship. Okay, now they're mad, kicking themselves in the ass. This person was trying to use you. This this person, whoever they are, they had a lot of friends, and every time. They friends would, you know, come over. They all trying to be all up in your pots and shit. A bunch of rats. Somebody could be a snitch. Now this person is crying because, see, they want to spend time with you. They want to hang out. See, when I looked at this dog, see, he got the leash in his mouth. He like saying, here, take the leash. Let's go somewhere. Let's hang out. This person has a lot of love for you, but they fucked up with that ten of hearts down there. They know. They fucked up. That's why they want to hang out with you. Because they know they wasn't being official in the relationship with you. They was keeping secrets, and now the secrets, you done found them out. The secrets could have been they was trying to use you. Them and they friends, they ratty ass friends, cause they seen you as a streak of good luck. Mm -hmm. Tell them to shut the fuck up. You don't want to hear that shit. He's a user. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about this person who's crying. Now this reading ain't gonna resonate with every single one of you out there. It may not resonate with none. But those of you that it resonates with, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button and the notification bell so you will be notified.
each and every time that the karmic circus is in your town. Okay? No more from this day. For some of you, this person was in the military. They may have just uh, gotten out of the military. Um, somebody out there needs to possibly drink some dandelion tea. Um, look up the benefits of drinking dandelion tea. Somebody could be either dealing with the Leo energy or a Pisces energy or a Cancer. Okay. Let's see what else what this masculine has to say. Now again, let me tell you, even though these cards is saying certain things, I don't want you to get these cards. You need to use your own discernment when it comes to this person. Just because the cards are saying certain things, how you should react, that's not for everybody out there. Okay? So just remember that. Some cards, you know, because there's somebody out there that may still want to be with a person. And there's some of you out there that don't want to be with this person and have already left. Some of you have left this person and you still want to be with them, but you're trying to teach them a lesson. The future. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. Warren G, I want it all. Brand new socks, draws, and, and, and all of the shit. They want it all. The future with you. And this is why they crying. Because when they was in a relationship, they, they, you know, they left you feeling unclear. I don't know how to feel about the connection anymore. It's the same thing with what they just said. They don't understand this connection. So this person They treated you some type of way Because maybe possibly They have Some sort of uh, issues Hold on I gotta close my window Yeah, so this person, they, they, what, what is it with this person? Tell me, tell me more about this person. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. So this person was ghosting you. And now they're nervous to be around you. They don't know how to feel about the connection. Um, but the, the overall energy is no matter what they're saying to you, this is what they're saying during the space that you're taking. And like I said, this don't mean that you have to go back to this person. But um, some of you may want to and some of you don't. Oscar just threw them in the tent. For those that you that, that don't, this person said, have my kids. I want a family with you. I know you would be an amazing parent. I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. See, if, if this was somebody you was married to and, and you didn't have kids with them or you was engaged to this person and they wasn't, you know, um, being real about the, the engagement, they, this is why they crying. Now, like I said, some of you was married to this person and you're ending the marriage. Some of you was engaged to this person and you threw their ring back to them. Okay? Some of you was in a long-term relationship with this this person and even though you may not be officially married you may have been calling this person your hubby or your wife okay 
but now this person is crying because they go they was ghosting you now they nervous to come around you because they left you feeling unclear and unsure it's simple really how do i feel i want you us forever this is why they crying now apparently this person they care about you you was married to them or in the long term you had something serious with them but they was chasing thrills and now that you know you then then distance yourself from them they don't know what the fuck to do Oscar just going in the tent for you again. Tell Oscar thank you in the comments. And you guys see my, my beautiful evil eye bracelets. Because you guys need these type of bracelets, okay? When you order a spiritual protection package from me, you will receive one of these. It comes in the package, okay? different colors so if you're interested in purchasing a spiritual healing package from me it'll come with the um truth and clarity candle or a uh crown chakra protection or a sexual creativity package okay if you're having problems in the bedroom and you know, um, far as the intimacy and being creative, you know, this this package will help you. Okay. So, tell me the energy surrounding this person of forced marriage. Okay, and reject. So, okay, so for some of you, this masculine, he could be crying with the forced marriage came out here. He could have been, you know, he went into some sort of marriage with somebody else other than you. And he's crying. You could have still been married to him and ended it. Or you could have been in a long-term relationship with him. And he went into a, re went and, and rejected you because he was in some sort of uh, forced marriage. Now, this ain't going to resonate. Remember, just take the parts that resonate with you. And you own it because I done pulled out from three three different decks. Okay, so each deck is gonna say something different about this karmic energy. And this is um your twin flame or a karmic partner. Solitude. You've isolated yourself from this person. Mm-hmm. Now some of you you may have found out that this person is married. They could have been married to somebody else and married you. They could have been a bigamist or something. Okay? And they could be crying because they could have married you and you ended the marriage. The marriage could be in reverse out here because you could have found out that this person could have been married in another country or something. In another state, they could have been married. I don't know. Okay? But you isolated yourself from this person and you was eager to take action to end this shit with them. Now, if it wasn't you eager to take action towards them, it was them eager to take action towards somebody else, okay? But I feel like it's you eager to put yourself in solitude, and they was doing that to you. They want to talk to somebody, they, but they can't talk to nobody. They don't know what the fuck to say. Because you're not talking to them. You is the person who probably, the only person they can talk to. If they can't talk to you, they can't talk to nobody. Yep, look, the nurse in reverse. You was a healer to this person. Kind, realistic. Even when this person came to you with some of the dumb, dumbest shit, you understood them. You would see things from their from their point of view. You never downed them or anything. This is why they crying. Yeah, he's a prince of pussy. This the prince of pussy. The prince of cats, I call him the prince of pussy. He may dress real good. You know, he may be aggressive. But you're rejecting this person. Because they ghosted you. 
They rejected you. They put themselves in solitude. So this is this what they did to you. This is what the hell is happening to them. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this masculine that's crying. He made a dark deal, yeah. And now he needs help. He's keeping secrets. Because he possibly, he secretly married somebody and he made a dark deal. The wrong decision. Incorrect direction. Yeah. From this forced marriage. And he's fucking crying. How was he forced? How was he forced into this marriage, Holy Spirit? How was this masculine forced into this loss of freedom? Oh, damn. So, somebody was crying, basically. That's why he crying. He let somebody persuade him. Persuade him. Uh-huh. <laughs> now he realizing that this was this was he was he fucked up he married somebody just to hush somebody from to keep bugging him he didn't even want to marry this person he just married i guess he th think marriage is a joke or something thought it was something easy like you go to we go together and we break up not no marriage ain't like that <laughs> Oh, or, they, or your person could be in solitude away from this person. And it was somebody, now, it was either they was eager to pacify somebody else. Um, With that pacifier out here, I always say that's the energy of a, a, a karmic dick, a karmic, um, a masculine dick in a karmic's mouth. Okay, or it could be the, the pussy lips. Take it where it resonates. Somebody, somebody marrying somebody because of the lips and all of that shit to pacify them. Yeah, auntie talking a little bit nasty, but this forced marriage and the pacify, the prince of cats, and how he crying. He crying because he, somebody basically persuaded them into marrying him. And now he made a dark deal, and he know it. He fucked up. And you may be, um... Awaken to this divine feminine. You ain't having nothing to do with this person. Masquerade ball. Oscar just threw him in a tent. Yeah, see, whoever this person is, they end up marrying somebody for one night of passion. They had a one night stand. Probably met somebody at a party. Their dark side came out. Mm-hmm. And somehow, they married somebody to pacify them. Mm-hmm. Now they realize that they made a dark deal. That's what the fuck they get. See, if they were spiritually connected, they would have, and, and listened to their intuition, they wouldn't be in this situation. Tell them, shut the fuck up. Now this energy, if it's not your energy, it's them, them wanting to end the marriage. They're ending a the marriage. The person they was dealing with um, could have been unofficial to them. This person that they went to could have been um, ghosting them. Yeah, this this is this is karmic energy collective. Hold on. I'm gonna turn off.
Yeah. So, basically, this person, they met somebody at some party or something. And um, they had a one night stand with this person or had sex with them one time. Next thing you know, they married to them. This is the thrills they was chasing. Mm -hmm. They were chasing a good time. And they end up getting going into a dark deal to marry somebody. That's the fuck they get. Oscar just threw them in the tent. So if this reading resonated with you, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next week. Peace out.